Home to over 120 million people, Mexico is the world's most populous Spanish-speaking country. It's a proud nation with a rich and turbulent history. Following the country's declaration of independence from Spain in 1821, there were decades of upheaval, culminating in the Mexican Revolution. That popular uprising of 1910 lasted 10 years and saw the end of the reign of autocratic president Porfirio Diaz. An explosion in artistic creativity accompanied the revolution, and the murals of Diego Rivera honor the fighting spirit of those times. When it comes to sport, one of the most popular in Mexico is boxing. At the 1968 Olympics, which were held here in the nation's capital city, Mexico won a total of nine medals, their best ever haul. Of those, four were won in the boxing ring. One of those medalists was former heavyweight Joaquin Rocha. He believes there's a direct link between the success of Mexican fighters and the past struggles of the country's people. In Mexico, we have a saying, you pick up a stone and out comes a warrior. It means that it doesn't matter how strong our opponents are, we'll go head on in any fight and that's down to our courage and the pride we feel in being Mexican. Mexico has produced a staggering number of elite boxers. Nearly 150 professional world titles have been won by fighters from Mexico. Whilst they've enjoyed success in the pro ranks, in recent times Mexico's amateur fighters have struggled somewhat. They haven't won an Olympic medal since the 2000 Sydney Games. However, the Mexican Boxing Federation is looking to put this right in the years ahead, and they've established a new youth development program to nurture young fighters. Amateur boxing has changed a lot since my day. OK, you're still trying to land punches on your opponent, but the training sessions are now very different. They're a lot tougher for a start. And there's a big emphasis on weight training. It's hard work. We try to prepare our boys so that when they step into the ring, they're in the best possible condition to fight. The Federation has put Cuban coach Eduardo Morera in charge of the future Olympic team. For the past couple of years, he's been working with talented youngsters from across the country to ensure that they qualify for next month's Central American and Caribbean Games. Morera's main goal, though, is to produce a team capable of winning medals at the 2016 Rio Olympics. The boys are all quite young but they've responded well to the training. We've come up with a plan that allows us to make the most of their potential. We didn't make too many changes. We've just gradually introduced a few more modern techniques to encourage a more dynamic style of boxing. That way, we'll be able to compete with the European and Cuban boxers who are fast and who tend to move around a lot more in the ring. Morera has several of Mexico's Olympic medalists on his coaching team. Alongside Joaquin Rocha is Juan Paredes, who won bronze at the 1976 Montreal Games. Who better to train us than those guys? They pass on their experience and are always there for us when we're unsure about something. They tell us what it's like to win a medal and how people look up to them because of that. That motivates us. Our coaches are legends and an inspiration to us. On top of that, they're also great people who are always encouraging and pushing us so that we can achieve our goals. Raul Curiel is one of the standout boxers on the national team. The 18-year-old lightweight won silver at the 2012 Aiba Youth World Championships in Yerevan, Armenia. He wants to become one of Mexico's all-time greats and emulate his heroes. My idol in professional boxing is Juan Manuel Marquez. And in amateur boxing, 
It's Oscar Valdez. I've always been inspired by Valdez, by his way of fighting and by his dedication in the ring. I'm not only trying to be just like them, I want to be even better than them and build on the legacy that they've left on the world of amateur and professional boxing. I want to accomplish even more. Raúl and the rest of the team are based at the National Center for Talent Development and High Performance in Mexico City. This is where the country's most promising junior athletes train and study. Raúl hails from Ciudad Madera in the northeast of Mexico. He moved to the center two years ago and shares a room with another rising star, Carlos Sanchez. We get on really well. We have a connection. Like me, he's a good boxer. We've been to the same competitions, and he won that silver medal at the Youth World Championships, which was great. We're always encouraging each other, like, come on, you can do it. That boxer's got nothing on you. Things like that. Raul began learning the noble art aged six. His father is a boxing enthusiast and used to take him and his older brother Isidro to the gym. While Isidro is already trying to make it as a professional, Raul still has to finish school. For now, the National Center is very much Raul's second home, and it seems unlikely that either he or Carlos will give in to the lure of hard cash and turn professional anytime soon. Some boxers want to go straight into competing at an international level, but they often aren't good enough. I think that they turn professional far too early. Most of us on the team box at a high level, and many of us will remain amateurs to qualify for the Olympics. If it's possible, I would like to stay as an amateur long enough to compete at two Olympic Games. Well, I think that turning pro is certainly something you have to think about. The main objective of the centre here is to train talented athletes and send them to the Olympics to win medals. We're not rushing into accepting any offers that promoters have made us. We have been offered money, something any promoter would do, but for now, we're taking things slowly. The priority is to achieve good results in the build-up to the Olympics and then win a medal in Rio. After that, we can start looking into the possibility of turning professional. Carlos Sanchez and Raul Curiel are Eduardo Moreira's brightest prospects. The young duo represent the future of Mexican boxing. If they continue to progress and develop, it's likely that boxing fans around the world will hear a lot more about these two fighters in the years ahead. They have extraordinary talent and can be whatever they want to be, but their talent needs to be channeled the right way and in a way that also leaves room for personal development. We need to look at all aspects of their training so that they can fulfill their ambitions and reach the goals they have set for themselves. I would like to change history. I want people to say that the one who ended Mexico's Olympic boxing medal drought was Raul Curiel. Libre, vamos libre, vamos a cerrar libre, vamos allá.